This deck has Igni. This deck we need last save for. If they're playing... Uh, musicians? Musicians should mean Golden Necker, right? Hmm... Golden Necker Vampires, they play Riptide? They play Necromancer's Tome? They play a lock? Play Piggies? Oriana? Verena. Verena. Can he bleed our Erland somehow? Like. I guess the only thing that does untargeted bleeding, they would be like Blood Scent, not Blood Scent, um, Blood Moon, which he doesn't have. And then Unseen Elder, which he shouldn't have either if he's called a Necker. Okay. They're playing Incubus. Mm. Let's go and get the Muta. I think we don't go and grab the Shoop right now, or the Rodea right now. Ah. Oh. Should we get the shoop? Damn it. We are friends of the family. Thinking about if I want to save leader charges. Okay, I'm gonna get the shoop. I'm roping. I'm roping. I'm roping. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to try to grab one of these, uh, swap one of these artifacts for a unit so that the Iris Companions does a little bit more. <laughs> but the rope, man. Do this. I want to transform this if we can. We also want to play Scout. We also want to play Temple. There's not many turns, and he's going to get a really big tempo lead with the Musicians and the Roach. And I don't know, there's probably not a best boy, but... Um, okay. A witch's and there's best friend Piggy is a as pig? well. No Jesus. Doubt. This is so much tempo. Okay, I need to find, like, a lock right now from this. Or maybe a slave driver or slave infantry. Ooh. It's not RNG if you call it, baby. <laughs> now he doesn't have an incubus target. We only have 4P bronzes in our graveyard now. No longer the 6P flutter in our graveyard. We only have 4P bronzes. And so incubus is can't get him anything. He has no 4P bronzes in his deck. He's playing Musicians of Blaviken. That's freaking genius. That's such a hard counter. Hell yeah. So incubuses are kind of useless. We're still down a lot of tempo in this round. We want to shoot the, the Necrotome or we want to just like push out the Necrotome maybe. Are infantry 4P? Yeah, they are. Play infantry 4P. Still haven't played Temple. I think maybe we're... <clears throat> I think I'd probably play a scout here before the Temple. Like, I need points Sorry. in this round. Sorry. So many things to have to play here. Is 
Then we play Temple. And then... Maybe like... Sintrin Knight, front row? Maybe? I don't have Death Blow. No worries, we get over 20 reach with guaranteed shoot mage into Flutter, yoink. Well, we have a lot of reach. We have a lot of reach once we play the temple and click the temple for the Anseus, we'll have a lot of reach. He's he's probably wanting to pass soon. He commits the next Flutter. That's his first Flutter. This was Operator Flutter. I kind of think we just keep playing, right? Is it okay if we pass? I mean, it, maybe it's okay if we pass. He has a cave troll. Cave troll into Necrotome. Then we're going to be like, we have to kill his cave troll. He might be able to get cave troll Necrotome out on the same turn. It could be problematic. I don't think we're passing. <clears throat> we don't pass. We have no space bar. Get me a reset. Uh, mm. Neve, Philippa. My Anseus is small though. There's like no hand buff on this Anseus. Shoot. He's totally gonna pass soon. Yep. Okay. I gotta do some math now. Okay, so so we play the Anseus now, probably. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We play this first, and then the Anseus. This is kind of bad. I think we're getting rid of the Sintrin Knight. It's too low tempo. My okay. I'm losing another three. Another five. So we're at 21. We need 34 more points. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, we play on Seiya's front row. That gets us... Uh, 24? 24? 25? 26? 27? Okay, so I think... I think we're pretty close to doing it with Radovid. Oh man, I gotta do so much math. All right. <clears throat> 22, 22. Oh, Christ. Christ almighty. Front row for two more points. So that's six. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. And then we're gonna it do some more I math after this. <laughs> Just smork on Seas if low they use Shoop? No, because I really want to play the Radovid here and save the Shoop for, for the Necrotome. If I can. I don't know if I can. I need another 25, 26, 27, 28. I think we, we use leader charges if we have to. If we have to, we use leader charges. I'm gaining another... Two. Okay, we're good. So I could have played this back row! Playing this front row got me two points. I could have... See, this is why I wanted to do the math earlier. I want to do the math earlier. I need to block... I need something to block Riptide. Does Necrotone matter? Well, we're down a lot of cards right now. He has three more cards than us right now. He has eight cards in his hand. We have five. Ophiri Merchant. <laughs> it's such a risky card. Okay, okay, okay. We 
go Envoy first. Or what, what's our leader? Oh, we could go leader into, like, Shawnee? We could, like, leader into Shawnee? We could, yeah, we could play leader, uh... Leader into Shawnee? Shawnee, a... Shawnee, a squire? Ooh. Ooh, okay. I have a little bit of an idea. I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. Your shield, sir. So what's the most that he can do in terms of damage? It's just bleed, right? He can only bleed and then Riptide. <clears throat> outside of outside of Riptide, I don't think he can really do damage. If he's playing this deck list that I'm looking at, which is here, Shoop is a knight. Yes, Shoop is a knight. So I might what I might do is I might go Erland. It, only if we take Shoop Knight, he's a knight. I might go Erland, then click this, and then maybe we play Shoop Knight for like resilience or something. Nah, he has Purify. He has Queen of the Night for Purify still. I might also want to put like this Peller back, or at least the Sintrin Envoy back. Another little thunderbolt. We don't need to click this right away. We can click this after we pass. This won't be witchers, not marauders. Because we have other knights in the deck too. Meave is not a knight. So, like, like, next turn, I could play an Envoy front row, click her, click the Squire, click the Erland, pass. Maxi? Okay, yeah, Maxi's in this list as well. It's so, like, kind of to ch check the order of his deck to see what he's getting with the Golden Necker, and then maybe try to help set up this, like, one-turn Necrotome defender into Necrotome into... Uh, Royal Decree, Last Wish, Tutor kind of thing to activate the Necrotome at the same time. If he plays Tome now, I will Shoop and destroy it. Uh, we've played we've played Rune Mage, right? So we have Guaranteed Shoop. Yeah, if he plays Tome now, I'll Shoop and destroy it. Unless he goes, like, Golden Necker into Defender and then Tome at the same time, then we can... Oh, he goes Defender now. Hmm. So, maybe we Peller here? Because what he, what I'm going to do, what's going to happen if I don't Peller, let's say we go, like, Sintrid Envoy into Erland, and with the intention of passing next turn, he will play the Necrotome, and then he'll use the Necrotome to catch up back to our Erland. So I think we'll Peller here, and, um... Ye who wander on the gale, ye we will click ye this. Am I, am I taking away any important buffs, like on Priestess and stuff? But I think we will click this. And I'm going to save the leader for round three. <clears throat> and uh, I still don't think we click this because I'm probably going to play Shoop Hunter next. And he obviously doesn't have an answer for this. And then we can still play another card. We can still play another card. We can play the Envoy. If he doesn't play the Tome, we can play the Envoy and then click this. If he does play the Tome, we play the Shoop and then click this. Yeah, there's the Golden Necker. Ah, oh, he gets a lock, though. He gets the Last Wish combo with it. Virus, a plague. COC risk? No, this deck can't play COC. It goes way too tall with his own Flutters and Piggies. But he can't really play COC. So he's going to get, like, an Alp from this Necrotome. Why is he roast stacking like that? I think we do it like this, and then now he has a really tough time catching up to our 40-something points. And then we probably pass and don't even play this Envoy. Because the longer we stay in this round, the easier it will be for him to catch up once he reestablishes his engines, like his Fletter, 
He has a Flutter left. He has an Orianna. Yeah. But he's slow now, right? He would have gotten two Necrats there, and then it'll be two Flutters and two Piggies. Now it's only one at a time. And he has, like, no win cons left. What's his win con now? Golden Necker's gone, Necro's Tome's gone. He has a Riptide, he has an Orianna. Verena. And, like, one Flutter left. <clears throat> he still has to make up 30... Well, okay. Granted, he's still three cards up right now. So, <laughs> he could go another three cards down and we'd be even. And we don't have any carryover left. So, we have, like, I have to draw somewhat well. He has a Flutter in this round too, so it's pretty, drawn pretty well. We don't know what he banished. He Hopefully he banished a gold. With the last wish. He needs like 20 and 2. 17, 14 and 2. It's pretty easy for him to catch up here. He can catch up here with even cards. Maybe even catch up with one card more than us if he commits leaders. It's going to come down to round 3 draws. I want Radea the most because I can't leader her. And then I maybe want... Maybe? I don't know if Margarita's is even that good anymore. Like, his only engines are, like, Piggy? And he's got a Piggy left? He can, okay, he can Incubus nothing, right? He can Incubus nothing. So Incubi are, are not win cons for him. He's setting up a Proto Flutter. He's going to use Proto Flutter next turn to get ahead. That's fine. So he has Riptide left. And he has Oriana left. Like, what, was it, what would be his best four-card hand? Riptide, Oriana, Verena. Riptide, Oriana, Verena, and a Piggy, or an Incubus, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> Okay, that's very good. This is a seven. Uh, these two together, but I have to, it's okay. I think we're getting rid of this. Okay, 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 okay. Meave comboed with this. Okay, so we use Radea to please. block the Riptide. Mm. I have one more leader though. Like, what do I do with that? With this one more leader? Like, I want to get Philippa, right? It's Radea first, and I think we take Crystal Skull if we get Crystal Skull to prevent him from bleeding anything, because he's going to have Riptide and, like, Verena and Oriana, and he wants to bleed those things. Beautiful is of fear, and I think we just, play the, or we just play the Crystal Skull immediately. That also kind of bricks his Riptide. It, he loses two points on Riptide. Philippa? Yeah, I was thinking Philippa. Philippa's like maybe 11 points, maybe not. But the PFI gives us one extra body for the Revenant. The Revenant will live here. So the Revenant... Quick, oh, he's got a picky. Oh, Philippa have. looks so good. We have to play Meave now. For Meave to get a trigger... Like, how many points is Meave? Meave is 7, 8, 9. 
She only boosts allies. 10, 11, 12, 13. She's 13. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Tomorrow she'll bring a better day. I think maybe it's Revenant's gone. At this point, Revenant is only going to get one click, and it's going to be a self-click. So it's only seven points if it's a self-click, right? It's only seven points. So that's the worst card. This is a six plus two extra bodies, so this is eight points. And then Philippa obviously is great. It kills the Witch Apprentice before it can grow. My sweet, sweet children. Uh, actually, I should just target Oriana, maybe, because he's not... He has a Riptide last card. He has a Riptide last card. I think we just do this. This is not... This is barely growing. This is growing by one only. That's a win, baby! GG's! That was a fun game. We got, we read his entire hand. We read his entire hand and we, we like had a game plan. It worked super well. Our, we played around the Riptide. We played around the Bleed. We got the Meave to pop off. <clears throat> nice. We had a lot more in the tank than he did, even with no Erland carryover.